Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Amnesia The Bunker, which is a horror game in the latest part of the Amnesia series. And in this one, you're trapped in a bunker with a man-eating monster during the Great War. It's hard to bring out a put away your gun. Nice shovel. I feel like the setting of, uh, I'm assuming this is World War One. <laughs> this is horrifying enough. Revolver bullets. Hold on, check on the bullets you got. Uh, I have nothing loaded. So all those boxes only got me one bullet each. Huh. That's interesting. God, there's actual enemies that shoot. That's a whole uh, new thing for me. One, two, any more? We search bodies for nope. You've been injured. Hold town to see how bad it is. Yeah, that's not good. That's that's a pretty bad spot. So let's see. Make a bandage. We will use the bandage. And now when we check it, our health is good. So I have not played the demo. I have not even looked at the trailers for this game. I, I'm just like, ah, oh, it's amnesia. Um, let's just go right in. Uh, and I'm, I'm basically uh, assuming that if all five fingers fill up with blood, you're dead, right? It's like per hit. Thanks for the grenades. Uh, 
Now, how do I take out drop a sign hockey? That worked. So Amnesia is a pretty important game for this channel in the way. I mean, it was for a lot of channels back in the day. I'll go over that a little bit later, though. Wait, 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 wait. I thought I heard a shot coming in my way. Gas! Uh, uh. It is so fast, fast! We're dying on the yacht. We make it out of this hell together. Now follow me. We're nearly there. They should have just made a full on uh, World War One shooter. <laughs> Beat that roll, my friend. Fate's a bastard. I'm on patrol tonight, then. C'est la vie. Hey, um... Our trees are kind of looking like... evil and surreal. You know, maybe a vague allusion to, like, barbed wire. Uh, and there's also a giant hell pit. Oh no! Attack dogs! Back! You are now on your own, learn adapt experiment, and survive.
Well, I'm not dead. That's your best friend. Mango supplies. Ronk was saved. Amnesia cause. <laughs> That'll drop. So that Clement admitted to medical treatment following events of 9th July. Personal fix on the storage locker. The patient remains in a weak coma state, will respond to stimuli, but only for brief periods of time. When last roused, he reported no memory of recent events. Had trouble recalling even his own name. Most likely due to severity of initial head trauma. We'll continue to monitor. Status has not improved in a week's time. Recommend transfer to St. Etienne for neurological tests. Alright. So that's what I was mentioning earlier, I didn't really want to talk about, because it was kind of like a set piece. Um, Amnesia is important for the channel. The channel's going on 14 years now? Maybe more, maybe 15? Could only be 13 too. It's somewhere in that range, but uh... This channel predates Amnesia, but the... Part of the logic for its curation was to eventually play the original Amnesia when it would come out. Hello. And I remember that stream. And it was, it was, you know, it was a packed house, which was 50 viewers. That was the cap for uh, streams back then. On, um, you know, all those old platforms. Twitch didn't, stuff didn't exist. Pull down F to charge the flashlight. Ah, it's one of these. Ninth of July, seventeen hundred hours. I'm in a state of agony. It cripples my body, captures my mind, bleeds my soul. This thing I have done, this thing, this thing. It is lunch in the mess hall currently. Oh, the thought of eating repulses me. Not open that one. Got a photograph here. Nope. I feel like I don't want to be around this area too much. But I will take that. I got fuel. Can be poured in bottles or on the ground? Hmm. Very interesting. I had something big, I could maybe smash that lock open. That's a strange hole. I wonder if there's still like a little bit of that sanity system for the old amnesia in there. Yes. Finish me off. 
Please. I want to die at the hands of a border soldier, not that monster. I suppose you could freaking leave ready. him. Get it. Do the job, please. But I will respect your. Quest. Although I am a little concerned, it's gonna hear the noise. Never mind, you're dead. Oops. Me? Oh, it's bait. This game actually reminds me more of, um... Penumbra. Because of, like, the, the bunker setting, the, uh... This might be a bad idea, but I'm going for it. Never mind. Um, you know what? You come with me, Rock. We may need you. Looks like we need a code for this area. Exit. There might be something that can be done here. There is an open. Got a map. Is the main map of the bunker? We'll be up to objectives and details as you progress. So we're right near the generator room, but we can't get in there yet. I'm assuming that's, you know, can light this whole place up and get some fuel in there. And then. Officers' mess halls down the way. Okay, mission storage, prison, arsenal, maintenance. So I'm gonna store these two things, because I'm not sure how fast inventory can get sucked up. And the fuel is probably gonna be used right here. Okay, I can use that as many times as I want. Important. When processing deceased soldiers, please check the reverse side of their ID tags for any messages, symbols, or locker codes. Oh. We got a note over here. Rats and burnt corpses. The rat problem is not getting any better. They're swarming every dead body. They've been coming after the wounded, but the vermin have no interest in flesh after it is burnt. So new po Is there any rats? This new policy must be instituted. The bodies of all deceased soldiers must be burned. You will provide proper consecration for the deceased. Remains will be preserved for families. It's not ideal and fills my soul with pain, but burning the dead seems to be the only way to stop the rats from coming, so burn them we must. Curious how that mechanic's gonna come up. We're going down. So there's a generator. Been on all times. Pocket watch. Can we sink through the generator? Just how much fuel remains? Bandages have already been used. Nine nine zero nine. Generator fuel is extremely flammable. Do not let any fires near the fuel. Do not fire any weapons near the fuel. For God's sake, don't even smoke your cigarettes near it. Start only sturdy metal canisters. Glass breaks far too easily. If it spills, wipe the area clean immediately. Dispose of rags outside of the bunker. Okay.
Okay, got some fuel in there. Um, it's not a full tank though, but hopefully we have enough time. Open, 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 open. Okay, we got light, we got light. We are on a little bit of a time limit. I am going to try and move fast. So due to our time limit, and um, limited resources, you're gonna probably see me kind of move a little more aggressive than I usually do in these type of games. I wanna, wanna get to this, I wanna get to this. Mess all. That looks like a terrible tripwire. Don't mess with that, don't mess with that. You can get this open. So now we got a full loop here. Which is good. I hear that thing scurrying around. Looks like we got about... Oh, so much time. By almost so much time, I mean, like, not much. Take that note, I'll read it later. But I'm safe. Yeah, we're not getting out of here. See, time is dwindling, time is dwindling. Explosive barrel. Mission storage. Duh! Locked. Time's about to be run out. Time's about to run out. We're going back. We're going back. I'm gonna put some more fuel in the thing. Okay. Get my inventory. Get some fuel. Keep these lights running. Okay. That should be a lot of time. Do what we need to do. And look, the objective has been marked on the map. They were right. Okay. I know where I want to go, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's more stuff down there, and there was more stuff over here. Okay, let's check the notes. Fuel and fire. Not that one. How do I get the hell out of here? I have not seen another human for hours now. It might be the last. But in the hope that there might be another, I'll leave this now so you not waste any time. This is the only exit. The only way out of this hell of our own making. It was blown closed. It needs to be blown open. Don't bother digging them. Impossible. Blow it up. The dynamite is locked in the arsenal. The dynamite handle is somewhere down in the Roman tunnels. Deeper in hell. I go down and try to retrieve them both. Though I did not know if you exist, I pray for you. Please extend me the same courtesy. I thought I found never note, but I guess I did. Got a photograph. I will check you out in a bit. Okay, there it is. To anyone who finds us, Fournier, our commanding officer, cowers next to me now. He lost his mind to an abyss of fear. He repeats the same refrain over and over. Flee! Flee! 
We must flee and seal the beast where it belongs. He wants to run, to blow up the exit behind him, sealing the demon down here. The demon and our men. His constant refrain is getting to me, and it's that same void of terror it is also overtaking me. To any of my men who see this, once we're free this place, I will get the arsenal code from him. I will get it and I will radio it back to you. Trapped down here with the bat beast, the arsenal may be our only hope. It's all I can do. All I have courage to do. Get to the communications room in the soldier quarters. Hide there. I'll broadcast the code to you. This is important, because it was marked. Claw marks. What is this? Save that bottle. X marks a spot? Oh! What am I doing? That did some damage. Damn. I had a brick. Um, we had one earlier. That's not good. Need to get out of here while I got a chance. Come on. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, we're not safe in here. Oh, I can use that. Let's see. Port, I am now putting into running what I report to both my immediate superiors. Last evening, 14th of May, I was assigned to aid the engineers in the mapping Roman, the Roman tunnels. As I entered the deepest area of the tunnels, I noticed strange glowing liquids seeping from the walls. When I turned around, the walls of the tunnels themselves were suddenly gone and I was standing in a vast plain of darkness. In a distance, there was a sickly light that seemed to be calling me forward. Between it and me, malformed shadows moved. I blinked again. It was gone. I was back in the tunnel. It lasted but a split second, but I am quite convinced that, was, that what I saw was no daydream. It was real. Since that experience, I have felt haunted, like a part of me is still there, stuck in the tunnels. I keep seeing shapes moving at the edges of my vision. I'm formally requesting medical leave. Please help me. Open that. Come on. You can now carry more items in your inventory. Swell! 2009. Okay, we're out of here. That I did not want to quite mess with yet. Administration. I'll have my save. Look at the map. Okay. Alright, I, I see where... Still got some time on our uh, generator. Okay, we still got some time. Should still be good. Rat. Noise is dangerous. Thanks. Toxic gas. You know I should have really taken those balls out of my inventory. That would have been smart. God, these things are always useless. <laughs> I'm now putting into writing what I report to both my immediate superiors. Last evening, 14th of May, was Sunday, the engineers in the mapping room with the tunnels. 
As I entered the deepest area of the tunnels, I noticed strange glowing liquid seeping from the walls. When I turned around, the walls of the tunnels themselves were suddenly gone, and I was standing in a vast plain of darkness. In the distance, there was a sickly light that seemed to be calling me forward. Between it and me, malformed shadows moved. I blinked again. It was gone. I was back in the tunnel. It lasted but a split second, but I'm quite convinced that what I saw was no daydream. It was real. Since that experience, I felt haunted, like a part of me is still there, stuck in the tunnels. I keep seeing shapes moving at the edge of my vision. I'm for requesting medical leave. One, two, one, two. Not yours. Right here. Med kit. Sets of upgrade over the bandages. I will have to go back and. I do need that. I think I already went in that area. No. It's a different area. Oh no. I'm gonna try to make my way back. Alive. ceiling. That was a little bit of time. We're out of fuel after this, so, so we gotta make this one count, because it could get real dangerous after this. So I have a feeling we will be coming back here quite a bit. 2009. Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, everything's unlocked. Cool. A little one shot in there. Storage. Prison. Time is not on our side. That's all locked up. So is that. Shotgun shells. Interesting. <laughs> that might have been a bad idea. This way, this way, this way. Oh, 
someone now. That's not good. I think it's still coming. So we're gonna take an alternate route. Peel some bandages, I do like that. Take that. Oh, that thing is still nearby. this. I just jump it. Here we go! Ooh. That's gonna wake company up. I am not sure where I am. I've gone down a whole different route. Essentially the game is kind of like a Metroidvania now. Which is why I kind of mean like, it's kind of like Penumbra. I really don't know where I am. We need to get out. Get, get! Now we hide. We should still have power left. And I'm not under the table, if that's what you're asking. A soldier. Well, you just broke my door. I guess there's a mechanic where you actually darken out a room when you go into it. How's my... No, it's... The rats. You notice how the rats have changed down here lately? Ever since they opened up those tunnels, I swear the rats have gotten uglier. Like they're disfigured or something. And they're definitely more aggressive. Tell me I'm not going crazy. There goes the power officially. Ooh, there's a lot of fuel down here. Make some noise. I want just a little bit of light to get me out of here. Those are some big rats. All oh, the rats hurt. They're giant man eating rats. Oh god. We're good. We're good. So I'm actually going to store the pocket watch. I've been able to play long enough now. I have a good idea in my head of what's going down. I'm going to keep the two fuel. I'm going to keep the gas in here. And I'm going to keep these items here. Because we're still, in my opinion, early into the game enough where... I don't necessarily want to consume resources if I don't have to. And I'll just keep the fuel. So yeah, the lights definitely discourage these creatures. 
God, there's four rats now. We have so many bullets. No rats, no rats. Chain. To get fuel, though. Gain more notes, too. Oh, look at that little tunnel. Oh, God, they're scary. This is our fourth formal request for a resupply of wine. The cellar is running low. After the reaction among the men and my fellow officers, we were forced to implement harsher rationing. I'm already feeling complaints on a daily basis. This army runs on morale, and morale runs on wine. My initial request was ten crates. So far, we have received two. Fix it. Monsters nearby. The rats do scurry when the monster is kind of lurking, though. And grab some more fuel on here. Okay, so supply storage is across the way. Cloth. Inventory is already getting kind of full. Don't want to go over there. <laughs> For supply storage, I'm not really finding many supplies. Rat. No, this can work for me. Cloth. I'm gonna craft these to make space. And I'm going to... Um, not leave. I'm a rock. Do I run it? Do I... I mean, if it comes in the back corner, I'm dead. I am quite literally a rock. Whoa! Ah! I timed that terribly. Bye. You know, I really went in this area before. It used a broken floor storage area into the old Roman tunnels. There is to be fought structurally sound deep, and I confess I was skeptical of the last point, but they do indeed lead in the direction of the German line. By September, we should be in position to launch a massive push from inside the tunnels. Perhaps a note in some tunnels we found urns, land tax, etc. We'll do our best for <laughs> our You talk right until like a Diablo. After the raid of last evening, we have in custody some 20 German soldiers from the 4th Reserve Corps of the 2nd Army. This puts our cells past capacity. With one exception, I recommend they be shipped to the camps as soon as feasible. Prisoner 73014 I would like to hold, but for capture he ripped his rank and extended him from his uniform so his rank remains unknown. Since capture, he has refused to say a word. I suspect he may be an officer of an important person. I believe once removed from his men, we can break him. Please advise. Shooting the beast. After Tremblay's death, the bunker descended to chaos. I've retaken control and ordered men to form up in squads. They have to hunt the beast down and kill it. They tell me it's not possible. They tell me bullets don't kill it. They only buy a little time and the beast comes back angrier. Cowards. I send them back out and I do as they should. Hunt and kill it. If they fail, they'll face a worse fate than the claws in the darkness. No, I'm pretty sure they faced a pretty bad fate. You know, those claws in the darkness and all. Okay, the fire's cleared out. I'm going through while I got the chance. That one was useless to me. I'm gonna keep moving this way. Like this when I got the chance. Oh! The tree was literally right on me. Oh, 
<laughs> God, that one fast. Oh, I probably can't go by this fire. Hopefully. Note to a dead friend. Gavin, I promised you a Christian burial, but you must understand. The rats would not stop coming. They swarmed your body, their teeth, their claws. They would not stop. I did what our ancestors did when faced with unclean things. Burnt them, and I put what's left of you to stop them coming again. If you made it to heaven, please forgive me. I remain down here in hell with that demon. It will come for me again soon. I know it. I'm going to do as you suggested before you died. Make for the pillbox. Please, if you're up there, watch over me. It is coming here. They kind of made the thing into the Xenomorph from Aliens. Like, behavior and gameplay-wise. Someone will be like, oh, the Amnesia, the first one did that. No, the, the Amnesia monster was pretty primitive. Very primitive, actually. It basically couldn't get you if you stood on top of a rock. Let's put it that way. If there's in here, I will shoot it. I've been trying to really hold my ammo. But I, I will not hesitate right now. Because we are at a bad end. Use my bandages that way. My inventory space has got room. Okay. I will... I mean, if I, get, if I, pref I prefer using the bombs if I had the choice. I got two of them, but... Whatever comes first. Oh. Oh, I have a lighter. That was useless. Yeah, let's go down more this way. We can always double back for areas later. I mean, they're not going anywhere. Got a hole behind us. So if it comes for us, it's coming from behind. Um, I mean, there's... A... Rats, get out of here! Ah! They're vicious little buggers. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. Kill one rat. Now I got fire. Yeah, I should not grab that dog tag. We definitely need like a lighter or something. Like, we don't really have a consistent way to like light things up. A little rat murdering me. Holy crap, the rats are like a death trap. I'm just tanking it. Not good. Oh, there's a boom boom. And yeah.
God, there's booby traps everywhere. It's a fire one. Going to the chapel. This is bad. Sorry, sir. I'll need that. Well, okay. Get more of these. Yep. What the? How'd I get from? It was a front. There's more than one. Eat this. Eight one one three. Wider. Yeah. Okay. So you remember I went in that one area and I was like, man, this area is kind of hard without this other item I need. You had to get in the item, get the code, backtrack, get the lighter, then go back. Yeah, but this this is basically gonna steal my inventory whenever I need it. It's like a whole series of items was just unusable to me because I did not have it. So that that one rat section was basically just a death trap. The rats are eating cheese in the pantry. I just want the stick. I don't want your cheese, relax. Ah, oh, it's so much better. Get out of here, rats. Scree! Oh my god, the rats. They don't, they don't fear the torch. Scree! Now they do. Scree! Three away. Yeah, it's unlimited factor too. Okay. All right. I don't think I've ever read these notes. Crime pillbox key. See the flower. We know that. Last two nights I've heard someone moving for the quarters when there was no patrol scheduled. I'll have never about a sabotage. Keeps necessary lockdown wheels tucked away missions. To well, we already got that one. Fervor to your investigation of the tunnel sabotage. Your assumptions are safe. Start with those who spread the rumors about magic and devilry in the tunnels. Clearly they've had sabotage in their minds for weeks. Use any means necessary to elicit confessions. You must not allow these treason to go unpunished. Lambert's Journal. July 1916. Dusk. I sit now at the bedside of my dear friend Henri Clément. The doctor has left, but I remain. I feel I must record the extraordinary twists of fate and fortune that have led me to be here. Breathing. Alive. Strong and well. While Henri lies unconscious. Fighting for his life. It starts days ago. On a night patrol. I fell into some kind of pit. I was injured. Unable to move. Unable to escape. By all rights, it should have been my tomb. I cried for help. I screamed myself hoarse. 
The effort left me parched, exhausted, and still alone. As the next night fell, as I cried what might have been my last cry for help, I could see the stars high, high above, beautiful, indifferent. And then Clément's face appeared at the top of the pit. He lowered himself to me, found a trickle of spring water there, and let me drink from it. It was cool and crisp, with a strange, sweet taste. Never has water felt more nourishing than that, administered by a dear friend's hand. I was saved. But of course, that is not the last twist fate's blade would stab into my back. 11th of July, 1916. Night. Later now, I continue my tale. As Clément carried me across no man's land, fate struck again. A German outpost spotted us. Gunfire. Explosions. Desperation. And as the air cleared, I pulled myself to my feet and saw that Henri was wounded. Blood pouring from his head, his eyes glassy. He was fading. I do not know where I found the strength to carry him, but carry him I did, all the way back to our bunker. 12th July, 1916, morning. Woke this morning and realized that a toy I purchased for my son is gone. I promised him I'd bring him something home from the front, so I brought him a stuffed rabbit from a local shop. <laughs> a rabbit because he thinks he's so fast. It must have fallen from my pack when I fell into the crater. The thought of that stuffed rabbit lying in that crater, rain and weather matting its fur, unloved, forgotten, totally alone, lost forever. It fills me with profound hopelessness. 12th July, 1916, afternoon. Spoke to the doctor. He told me Henri woke in the night and had no recollection of the events in the crater. Indeed, he seemed even confused as to where he was. Aside from this disturbing news, I'm feeling rather good, stronger and stronger, as if the whole ordeal has filled both my body and soul with new purpose. Now he's gonna be out here alive. Yeah, there's no tunnel behind me. How did you kill me last time? I'm not here. If it comes in, I can pop it. It will run away. Temporarily. We got a couple of codes we can use. And we have the pillbox key. Not sure how much more generator we have. We should be able to clear this place out before it gets real bad. So everything's had options, if you've noticed, gameplay, which is good, by the way. Um, so you could fairly make noise, you can like use a grenade, you can, uh, not that type of grenade. You can blow stuff up. You can break doors, make noise, stuff like that. I'll take the gas grenade, that's a little more unique. If we ever get desperate for supplies, I, I've, I've been keeping mental note of where things have been a little bit. And I can always just sprint through and... Oh god. I can just smell the food and... Whoa! God. Still shooting after all this time? Well, we have something we need. There's just a ball over there. I might have some... Alcohol or something in it, but it's whatever. 
Let me see. I, I could trade it for the empty bottle if it's got stuff in it. No, it's just an empty bottle. It's like they're all over the place. Now we need to get back alive. Ish. Need to heal that little bit of damage I took. Well, if I ever go back down there, at least I don't have to worry about that thing again. And I'm gonna go and top off the generator. Not yet! Yeah, no, we have plenty of fuel. And we did leave fuel behind, so... So we have a lot of codes. Drivers. Zero four seven. Zero eight four seven. Oh man, that's a lot of grenades. Don't mind them, I do. Barnum one three seven seven. Bullets, healing, and then this one's the key one right here. Six three seven three. Key item. Kind of has to stay in our inventory now. Man, can't carry all this stuff. We've been picking up so much stuff, even this inventory is full. So all I'll do is I'll take out some of these empty bottles. I can just like leave them here. They, it's kind of like a soft storage in a weird way. Store healing items. Keep the lighter. Keep the flashlight. Keep the gun. That's an emergency button. Keep the torch because I can always just use it up and get rid of it. Okay, everything else is just supplies for emergencies. So I'm coming back to the prison again. So be careful of that door. We smash it open, we have a rude visit. Someone's alive. Locked. No, oh, it's the um the German officer. They mentioned something about that. Oh, I need that item. Can you open this for me, buddy? We're gonna need to uh, get in there. We 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 have to smash it open. That's the only way. They give you that rock specifically. They're trying to force you into an encounter, basically. Well, well, it looks like I'm encountering you early. Back in, back in, buddy. Processing Warden's office. 
Alright. I'll be able to do something with this. Where's this area? Plenty of things for like Molotovs and whatever. And a lot of lore. Cool. List of the guilty. Sabotage left the Tunnel Project in ruins. At approximately 2300 hours, 30th of June. 24 hours, 30 on 2nd of June. Explosion ripped through the tunnel system. It was quickly determined that the explosives were missing from the arsenal. An explosion was no accident. After a swift investigation, the following soldiers have confessed to sabotage. Four of the guilty now rot in the cells awaiting tribunal. The fifth, Toussaint, remains unaccounted for. He may have been killed in the blast. I believe there are no others involved, but he's in there and no one saying anything. Worse than double agents, these men are cowards. They scream out ghosts and demons and other worlds. They claim they committed this act of treason to save their fellow soldiers from hell. Utter nonsense. We are still working to clear the tunnel site and assess the damage but I fear that any hope of using them for our purpose is now lost. In addition, the explosion has caused ever structural damage to the bunker itself. Flooding is now occurring in various areas. The Rue reports that Neuer is the source of the problem. Let's go around telling the men that those damn texts contain accounts of pagan rituals performed in those tunnels. Ghastly and wild stories. Now superstition and rumors are passed around the men like an open flask or venereal disease. Some men say they have seen the things. Ghosts, demons, fairies. He said the angels and mons have a free with the devils of Poisier. I've called Noir. I don't know how to pronounce these, by the way. I've called Noir for the reprimanding. I'll make sure it's properly severe. Meanwhile, the engineers will continue to dig. This seems fun. So you're supposed to blow this door open, I'm pretty sure. Hey, buddy. And I'm not gonna wait. That was my last shot. Oh, come on. Gas grenade. Fuel, which we could always use. The flare is right here. I'll leave the uh, fuel there. It's right near the exit, so... No, 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 no. Unlock that. Open all the cell doors. Look around. Hear the German prisoner die. Oops. Let's read some notes. Wrench location note. Remember, if you need to remove grading, request a special wrench. Already got that. Dear the prisoner, with the rest of the cells empty have begun a program of aggressive interrogation. I hope the scripts have not kept you awake. He continues to insist that he is a common soldier, that his rank was accidentally torn from his uniform, and he knows nothing of the Second Army plans. I did not believe him. I've ordered rations the next three days. Next he's fed. I assume his gratitude will loosen his tongue. I follow note this work would be much more easier if the officer's wine rations were loosened. So anyway. I think I'll take that fuel. I'll use this.
Nice, nice. No, 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 no. Don't make me grab this grenade. Chain. The bolt cutter is in the... I think it just left. Yeah. Oh no, we actually got one shot left. Take that. I really need the... Uh, <laughs> Basically, inventory space upgrades are just to carry the key items. You dead? Yep. So we're gonna... Tag something over here. Just gotta be a little careful. That one's booby-trapped. And I don't want to go near that, because it might be waiting to ambush me at the, uh, hole. Nades, meat. Uh, what we got here? First aid. I don't need any of this stuff. I, just, I, I, I I'm just gonna leave it. Once again, I know it's here. I can always come back. We'll tag you, though. Notes and shotguns. Now we leave. Permission to court martial all the tunnel saboteurs is granted. Any mercies meet out at discretion. Are I don't know about you, but I have none left. I say throw them all in the pit. Leave them there to the armistice for judgment day, whichever comes sooner. Ah, Bernard is dead. Murder in the halls outside his quarters last night. His body desecrated. Given the severity of the violence done to him, Josis Josinski. Claims it must have been at least two assailants. It was said it impossible to imagine any of our men committing such a heinous act, but after the tunnel sabotage, I clearly should have expanded my imagination. The guilty are among us. I will round up the most likely suspects. Please don't make a reference to sus or anything in the comments. Interrogations begin this afternoon. Reynard's body is being prepared to return to his family. He was a good man. This act will not go unpunished. I'm probably butchering names as I go along. I'm, I'm kind of partially speed reading. No, no, I'm not interpreting what's being said, just like... I, I, I'm trying to survive. My, my brain's like I can fight or flight mode. So we wanted to check this out. Some more notes. About digging too deep. My friend, receive your message about the order to dig the bunker deep. I appreciate your enthusiasm, your patriotism. I only wish I could share it. I could share it, yeah. I fear command will only prove themselves fools and your men will pay the cost. They want a grand subterranean hub of courage, steel, and intelligence. You both know that they will get a rancid, stinking pit. A void, a hole full of men scared and confused. Then they will proclaim it a success and issue a new order. Dig again. Deeper this time. For France. For victory. Your order is at dig. They are the very war itself in miniature. The arrogant idiotic leading the scared and foolish ever downward toward darkness. I'm sorry, my friend. My mood is pitch black. And everywhere I look, I see this world barreling forward into chaos. Please keep this message between us. I don't need a court marshal heaped upon my woes. Let's see. In regards to the failure of Saboteur, Ramu is added for details to his confession. He now claims that upon entering the Roman tones at night, Toussaint confided in LaRue that he had other work to do. LaRue repressed him for detail. Once again, I might be saying these names wrong. A lot of these names, I sometimes remember how to say them right. But then sometimes you remember the, the wrong way of saying it. This is how it goes. 
Soon after Toussaint split from the Everest Avatars and disappeared into the darkness, when the Everest failed to locate him, they assumed he had returned to his bunk and proceeded with their plan. I believe it's safe to assume that Toussaint either perished in the blast or has since starved to death in the rubble. I hear friends. Locked again. I'll have to smash it, but that's going to bring our friend over nearby. <laughs> To tunnels. Let's look at what we're dealing with over here first. Okay. So we've got something unlocked. What are you... What are you, friend? So I'm gonna do something a little bit... Um... Unsafe. I'm gonna smash that thing open. Oh god, there's gas here. I should go and put some of that back in. And I'm just gonna run. Close of storage. This is kind of a semi end game required area. I got lazy and didn't want to use a brick. So I'm using this instead, because it's funny. Fire in the hole! Got the map. Got the gas grenade. Got that. We're going out. I feel like that worked out. I hope there's no weird, uh... Water monsters here. Be a damn, uh, shame. Okay. Flip the switch. Oh, come on, you can't mount yourself over those? Surprisingly, there wasn't. I think it's time to keep this game really low-key. Just, you know, it's just the one monster. Which I actually appreciate, because the ever uh, Amnesias have been very iffy about just making a, a tight monster-like filled journey. I may need that, uh, grenade in the end.
More photos, some notes, some bottles that'll clock up my inventory to hell and back. More notes here. No, oh, it's a save room with eyeballs, by the way. I had to see what the Dark Hill and had to, no matter far from all of them, they don't have the right kind of eyes. There's a world down here full of seductions and secrets, and my eyes are right for it. Never mind that they tracked me down here. I have seen, huh, a vision, a vision of a gone world, bloody and terrible, beautiful and awful, godly and infernal. All around me, voices, the past, clawing, spinning, whirling. I don't know what they want. I don't know what they want. I have to stop it. I can't see it anymore. It tasks me for what I do not know. Please, God above, either we're there, end this. Give me some way to end this. I see it now. I see it now. See it now. See not. See it now. See it not. It's whirling and whirling and whirling. It calls for blood. Our mad classes have struck again. Noir is filled a report claiming that the Romans use these tunnels to hold sadistic... Hmm, I mean, not say that. Great festivals of cruel combat, torture, and worse. Fervey says these were all held in an arena over a great pit. Any who fell into it fell into screaming darkness. His words. What a poet. I've been in the tunnels. They're tunnels. Full stop. Now, I could use the torch. It is brighter than this little light, but it, it burns down really quickly. I think we may have company. Huh. Oh no. It's the, uh, the greater amnesia lore, that whole otherworldly dimensional thing. Because it has the floating rocks. There is someone here. Oh, you're the one who took out his eyes. Don't need eyes where we're going. Not people. Well, people in the traditional sense. Are you? We were the world, the world we were. Hmm. 
I could smash that open with a brick. Oh, fuck. I was like, I thought I was like a monster. I think we'll get that brick. What can we do? But see and sing. I hear you. Do you really? Which one's the real- what? Okay, they're just shadow people, right? Shadow people? Yeah. That one's real, it's got a gun. <laughs> I actually literally can't hide in the gas. So I don't want to go back through the gas. I actually get the point, if we have the gas mask, the gas grenade's probably pretty good. Cause it probably like completely covers you and you just run through it. Did you just die of gas? The gas is still going. He is literally not stopping. Well, that was simple enough. <laughs> Now if we can smash this open, we can start cooking with gas. And I mean like, metaphorical gas, not, you know. Did I? <laughs> I team posed you to death. Oh god. Works for me. Yeah, he's dead. Gods, this place. No wonder you all went crazy down here. Shotgun. How many, how many rounds is this thing holding? Six rounds, so we got... It didn't come with any, so we have four in there so far. I don't know if that thing's fully reloaded for once. So based on the one photograph, I'm assuming they, uh... The shotgun can just blow right through a door. I think 
this ammo. What do we got here? Hello. Yep, carry more items in your inventory. Just a glorified way to basically make room for uh, a new key item. Your actual, like, practical inventory never changes. There was some couple of gas tanks I kind of wanted to grab over here. We'll leave it be for now. Gas might run out by the time we get back. Wait, no, there was no gas tanks. I think we got... Whoa! Where am I? Oh, this is where, um... We saved the guy at the one point. Remember he was in the pit? Yeah. Lambert. I feel like that rabbit's important. The torch is almost out. Just drop it. Bun. The monster is, uh... Where is it? Lambert. Yeah. Let's head back. The long war is still going on out there. I'm down here fighting a uh, mutated monster version of my comrade in arms, and everyone is out there fighting a war. No end. I hear you scaring about there, buddy. You want to fend up by my new weapon? I, I'm more than willing. Yeah, power's out everywhere. Generator's down, it's getting nasty. Put this away for the time being. Okay. I'd like to get this open before he comes back around the corner, because I hear him there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scree, scree. Scree. Don't make me throw a grenade at you all. you can crawl through vents. Okay. Two, seven, four, three. Some shotgun rounds. Note, probably your diary. 12th of July, 1916. Up again in the chapel, trying to pray, but my mind is too alive with thoughts of the crater. 
The rabbit, that water, its taste. And yet I don't feel tired. Instead I feel this itch. This sense that there are things I must do. Purpose. A bloody purpose higher than any of man's petty wars. 13th July 1916. Morning. Everyone's talking about hearing scratching at the walls. Tremblay even claims to have heard howls echoing through the barracks. I feel strange myself. Can barely find the words to write. My hands feel so odd, gnarled, bulbous, like they don't belong to me. I hesitate to write this, but a thought keeps echoing in my head. A thought I must not act on. A bloody thought so seductive. It calls. It calls. It calls. 15th July, 1916. Madness in the barracks this morning. Renard's dead. They say murder, but will not show us the body. A dream rises in my mind. Countless cruel eyes upon me. Must check on Henri. Wish he would wake. Could use a friend. My prayers remain unanswered. 18th July, 1916. Blood on my hands. Blood on my hands. Blood on my hands. Their pain. I want more of it. I can hear Tremblay now. Coming closer. 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 I can get what I want from him. Yeah, so... They ended up in the thing. They drank... They drank the uh, the bad water, and now they're mutating because it's the amnesia of a worldly dimensional water. But I'm wrong. Yes, that's how it works. I have never code here. I can pop in somewhere. Zero eight two one. Nice, I actually could really use that. So we're missing a couple of codes, one of them notably for the gas mask. So we're on the last area we haven't explored. I know there's fuel, so I died down there before. Uh, and we can use that to pop back in the generator, because it's... It's much more active when there's like not enough lights around. Yeah, you know what? I might do this the explosive way. Get ready. Fire right in the hole. Go in, grab what we want. Choose the map. I'll grab that stick too, that, that doesn't hurt. We're leaving. It's right behind me in the dark, by the way. And now our map is fully upgraded. And we have a blob of fuel. And a new torch, which will be also hugely useful. Fire it up. 
Lock and load, let's go. Oh man, it is right there. Read that note later. Get some lights on around this area. Security communications. Fully locked up. And we've got rats. And traps? Rats and traps, okay. I'll take that gasoline, don't mind me. More notes. Once again, I'll read these later. Gonna pop some of these doors open. Hey, you actually wouldn't have like a light switch or something here, would you? Yeah, yeah, hiss yourself. Ski, ski, ski. Hiss, I'm a rat. Scree, scree, yeah, 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 yeah. Just ask a simple question, you know, no need to get a rat about it. Health. Monster, angry. Close that. Flare gun. Could be used to scare away the rats. More fuel. I think I will actually take that. Photograph. Looks like we have ourselves a... Uh Thing going on here. Nerys were telling us the tunnel text, describing what these tunnels were used for. But I didn't need him to tell me. I've seen it, I was in there in the dark. I dream of it every night now, dreams so real that when I wake the day itself feels like the dream. I'm at a ritual. It begins with a drink of a liquid, sweet and thick. Prometheus. Like mucus or honey. Repulsive yet intoxicating. As I drink it warms my body, fills me with a lust for all things carnal. You, you, you got infected by chaos right here. Man, you, you chaos undivided. Around me are the others, their face hidden, their bodies rippling. I know we all serve the same master, the same end. A place in our unending kingdom. Immortality. The things I do in these dreams, a terrible whirl of horrors, bloody and twirled. They make the charnel pit of war seems like mere play. I wake horrified, but in the dreams I am elated. The worst part, at the end of every day, I want to be asleep. I want to go back to that place, I want to feel that way. Or the violence and the ecstasy and the pitch black darkness. Unsent letter. Thank you for the package. I'm saving the chocolate for a special occasion and keeping them photo close to my heart. It's a week now since I've been called for any combat action, but a new kind of fear is spreading inside the bunker. Last night I woke with a chill. A strange sound was emanating from deeper in the bunker. A kind of moan, a cry, perhaps a howl. I went to investigate and found myself standing at the entryway to the Roman tunnels. The sound came from inside. I dared not shine a light inside for fear of what I might see. And then a scrambling fuddling came racing towards me from the darkness. A shape loomed up out of the shadows. I reached my side arm ready to fire. It was Toussaint. He had been wakened as well, but unlike me, he dared to enter the tunnels. He says he saw something there. As we stood that mall, listening, the howling, howling, howling grew distant. We see it to where I dare not guess. Perhaps our minds are gone, or perhaps there's something down there. Toussaint will not tell me what he saw. Please run me again soon, love to you. Daisy chain switches. The power in this part of the facility is daisy chained. Shut off the power in one section in the chain, the subsequent areas will go off as well. Switches should only be turned off under extraordinary circumstances, like when I say so. Pranks and mischief will be reported directly with Nod. Odd occurrences last night. Soda Lambert 
Fight dead after his patrol in the 8th, return to the barracks and find health. He carried him a soldier on Clement, severely wounded from explosion. Lambert reports the following. Then they went through his patrol in the 8th, he fell into a deep crater and was unable to escape. Clement and his close friends snuck out after him last night, located him in the crater and carried him out. They were spotted in the ensuing attack, Clement was injured by an explosion. It fell on Lambert to carry him back. Very odd that Lambert was either injured from the fall nor the explosion, and they end up saving the man who came to save him. But battlefield luck is an odd thing. In every life, fate's winds blow erratic. Judging by Lambert's description, the crater he fell into seems to have been located very close to the Roman tunnels we unearthed. It may have been a result of the work down there. Recommend a future patrol investigate to make sure we don't have to open a back door into our own bunker. Let's see, finally got some answers from the engineering team. Command believes that they're old Roman tunnels. They chase into our position, they're opening them this evening. Command hopes to use them to launch a surprise attack, as if any attack at this point could be termed surprise. This is a war. We are always expecting an attack. Curious to see these tunnels, though. A little dash of antiquity could liven up this place up. It certainly helped keep my mind off the daily grind of the war. The officers presented me today with rather unexpected and strange gift. Aging texts from inside the Roman tunnels. Seems they got word of my interests. I took them, of course, but the truth is these texts are far too fragile. Too valuable to save a live life in this horrid place. They require more delicate hands. More learned minds than mine. Still, curiosity reigns. This morning Ackerman died of his wounds. I only know him in time because I'm one of my better friends here. I hope heaven welcomes him. To distract myself, I've been going over the text and have quite the shock. These texts are not Roman in origin. The language is Latin, or Latin at least, but that's... What they're writing about has no relation to what I know of Roman culture from any era. The texts seem to be of a religious or at least superstitious nature. A phrase has appeared. The cross into the darkness beyond. There's something about sight. Haven't slept, need to get this down. The texts are of a religious nature. Whoever these ancient people were, they believed that they had found a means to immortality. And to achieve this goal, they needed access to what they thought was some other world. One dominated by darkness and ruled by... I don't know, they use words I can't translate. That was the antagonist of the last game, I believe. Ruled by something. They claimed that dark other world was full of spirits, monsters, and the air there was endlessly alive with cries of torment, the sickly rattle of souls near death. That is what they are using the tunnels for. For them it was a doorway to some pagan hell. The texts are full of wild stories of blood orgies or sadistic spirits, the awful thing these men and women would do to each other in worship of darkness. They speak at length of some substance that's meant to grant the worthy some kind of immortality in darkness. I'm on patrol tonight. Need to sleep before then. But then I'm back at this. Do I have a... I don't know, I have a grenade with me. I could... Shoot that. Nope, that just pissed off the monster. You want this? No, it really does work. Get that key. Where's my key at? My friend, after tunnel sabotage, there are increasing security everywhere. We can either lock the door to communications. Between you and me, I'm going to keep a copy of the key in my bunk in the barracks. You never know when such a thing might come in handy. So not. Okay. We did have... Should be a key around here. Get the key and didn't realize it. There it is.
Any more lights around here? There we go. Oh no. We'll probably need to activate some power or something. The generator might be gone. That's why they're giving us all this gas. Taking a little trip back. Oh no. Yeah, I have to disable the power in the mess hall. Where's the entrance to this room here? Here. That's not one I need, but I don't mind it. Okay, we're gonna open this up. Looks like there's some ammo in here. That'll be useful. Come back to that. Pop that. Got a lot of fuel in here. Photograph. We'll check that later. Got that. Flare gun there. Watch for a friend. Take it slow. Rats. Floating, floating things. This is the mess hall? Nah, there we go. Now we're cooking with more inventory space. I'm not sure what this place is. But, once again, I'll check these notes and everything I've been finding. Um, after the fact. When I know we're in a pretty secure location, and I, basically my objective is cleared. There's a trap there. Oh, whoa, 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 calm down. This is where I need to go. Ish. Got a code. Also got a, a monster. <laughs> it's gonna get very nasty pretty quickly.
Get out of here. Seriously, get out of here. Now while you're doing that, I'm gonna blow this off. Because... That's the one. We had to flip. I think. Now I need to go and restore power. Okay, we're getting power back on. Just gonna dump all this gas in here. So you have plenty to work with. Yeah, I'm gonna check my notes that I've been picking up here. Veneer claims one of us killed Renard by saw Renard's corpse. His eyes were gone, gouged from his skull. His tongue was shredded. We all hate Renard, but none of us could have done this. War is brutality, but it is anonymous. Mechanized. We fired distant soldiers. Whoever did this? It was intimate. It was sadistic. I fear for all of us. Father was gone. Insanity. Chaos. We were in the mess and it burst from the shadows right behind... Boys, Ron? But Father was there, readily. Practically threw himself in front of the thing. And he shot it. Hit it. Dead on. The thing retreated. We thought for sure he was dead. But then, not ten minutes later, it came back for him. I heard him screaming, being pulled into the wall, praying for salvation. And now I can hear it moving again. Getting closer. Have to move now. We're all suffer his fate. I was there when they pulled your friend Neuer from the tunnels. He'd been screaming for hours before he was located. Tied to the stretcher. He was still trying to scream, but all that came out was a horrible rasp. All the engineers have seen things down there, myself included. We should talk, you and I, but what is to be done? Let me know when. Gathering the willing. If I have after how Renard and Fernand treated him in the room where there was only one way forward for us, I gathered men I can trust, proposed to them what we'll do to a man all of them were willing. It was such a relief. T seemed eager to go, the poor man. I hear him at night, muttering in rhymes, trying to comfort himself. For his sake, for all our sakes, this nightmare must stop. Late now, on the 14th of June, the nightmares have stopped. We no longer hear those sounds. But now I am plagued by worse nightmares. My fellow saboteurs were all caught. Don't be Renard torture them even now. Yet none of them have turned me in. I alone have escaped punishment. The honor among these men, my brothers, I'm not worthy of it. It haunts me. The guilt of it. I know they will be court-martialed, maybe even put to death. And here I am. My consolation. The war will punish me. As it punishes us all, and I will be remain vigilant, lest whatever darkness lurks in those tunnels returns. Night, sleepless, something keeps scratching at the walls. I've had rats before, of course, but this is different. It's not the subtle, a rhythmic scratch of a rodent. It's louder, steadier. Francois has gone four times now to find the source, each time returned with no answers. Perturbed. The men like me we were here during the Roman tunnel incident. We share skittish looks. We dare not say anything for fear of reprimand, but we do not, don't need to say it. We're all thinking the same thing. Later. Something just howled. Not something outside the barracks, something in here with us. Like before, it's like before. But the tunnels are still sealed. They're still sealed. But it wasn't enough. All my brothers caught Marshall and gone, and still wasn't enough. 16th of July. A demon from the tunnels is among us. Don't say it. It's killed Renard. It will kill all of us unless... For LaRue, for Toussaint... For Neuer, for Nicolet... Oh, I, I'm gonna butcher these names. I will kill it myself. This is why I was not caught. This is my purpose. My revolver is loaded. My will is strong. The officers have abandoned us. They ran from the beast and blew the exit clothes behind them. Even Gilbert. They called us cowards and traitors and worse. Hypocrites. Now they've doomed us. Whatever hell we suffer now, it is on them. God will punish them for what they've done. 9th of July, night. My conscience compels me now, as it failed to compel me then. I must do something, even if it costs me my own life. I must do something lest I never sleep again. 
I must do something or risk greeting hell itself as a relief. I must do something. I go. Okay, we have power in here now because I flipped the switch from earlier. And I think we just hit this button here. To anyone left, the code is eight. Eight. Three. three two, two. One. One. Good. We have all we need to get out of here. One, five, six, three. Something like a gas mask. More obviously useful if we, uh, had the, um, some gas grenades, which we have in our inventory over in our box. Five six two zero. Some dice. Eighth of July, mid afternoon. Joubert needs a scout for tonight. Routine patrol. Out to the communication wires and back. It'll be cloudy. Good cover. Easiest patrol possible. Sergeant wants me or Augustin to go. He still suspects one of us might have been with the mutineers. But I won't be going. How can I be so sure? Well, Augustin has agreed to a friendly game of chance to determine which of us it will be. And, using an old sleight of hand trick, there's no way I'll lose. <laughs> no, Augustin doesn't have a chance because I'll ensure he doesn't. Me? A scoundrel? <laughs> Perhaps. But when he returns and I remind him of the time he pissed in my flask, or the mysterious lice that appeared in my bunk, or the incident with that barmaid, well, I laughed in those cases, and he'll laugh in this one. 8th of July, near midnight. Shelling again somewhere along the line, them firing at us. I'm sure we will fire at them again soon. I hope Augustan's having a simply marvelous time out there. <laughs> Can't wait to tell him what I did. 9th of July, time unknown. It must be just before dawn. When the shelling stopped, I woke. The sudden silence always does that. Augustan's bunk is empty. I went looking for him. He wasn't in the mess, nor being seen by Dr. Jozinski nor lurking out for a final smoke. Dax was on patrol. I asked him. He said Augustin hasn't returned from the scout. He said the words like he was pronouncing Augustin's death. As if scouts don't come running back at all hours. As if, as if it wasn't just a routine patrol. As if all hope was lost. Now the shelling is starting again. Uh, we'll try to sleep. 9th of July, morning. It has been hours now, and Augustin has not returned. His luck did not hold, and neither has mine. What could I have been thinking? If he is gone forever... But I do not want to write it, for fear writing it will make it real. I will continue to wait in my bunk until dusk. And if there is no sign of him, then... Then... Then I do not know. The priest keeps staring at me, as if he can sense I have some unseen weight on me. I will not give him the satisfaction of a confession. Oh, it was nothing! A joke! I, I thought it was just a joke! I, I never thought... I, I never thought... And therein lies my sin. Well, we know what we did wrong now. So all the plot pleases are, uh... In place. And the only one we haven't opened was yours, but like, you can really offer anything unique. Yeah, 
a three, two, one. We're in. Some fuel, I'll tag a little bit for our return trip. We may have company in here. I certainly see trip wires. Rats. Don't make me Molotov, you guys. Hold up. Ah! Did almost like nothing. It just like slightly annoyed the giant rat. They're like, they're just, they're, they're still pretty chill. They're just like, ah, I'm a rat. Back. No, back. Feeling a little hurt right now. Make sure we retreat. It's not retreating. getting a little more durable and angry. It's probably skilling its health off the uh, Xenomorph from Alien did the same thing. Lock and load. I think I've shot that one. Gone a, uh... Ooh, grenades. Hello. No. You'd have to blow the barrel and aggro the, uh... the beast. Looking for is TNT dynamite. There's a brick there. Careful, 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 careful. Careful. <laughs> Damn, you still want to crawl for the gap, don't you? Ooh, 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 I forgot about you. Well, I could probably stack you over here. Some meat in there. You know, meat's actually a pretty surprisingly rare item. I only found a few of them, I only picked up one. I mean, you get options on how to deal with things. I'm gonna need to keep some inventory space for that TNT. So I don't think they're they're giving us any more um, things over here. How do I get out? It's gonna be a shortcut, right?
scam. And this is gonna be interesting. Okay. Hop. 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 <laughs> Make a company here pretty soon. I'm gonna keep a rapid pace. <laughs> if I rapid pace, I mean, I'm running. I got your TNT, and there's nothing to do about. All right. Dynamite in. Then you over here. Boom, baby. Um, I didn't make an exit. Let's go. Look, we just took ourselves a deeper pit. I don't really need any items, so I'm not gonna pick up anything I don't immediately need. Oh god, it's one of those amnesia ones. We have company. It's just kind of hanging out at the end right now. Rawr, curse you boxes. Actually, grab a toy. Hey. Later. Two for the road. Okay, we're getting out of here.
This place is falling apart soon. Wait, but the war's still going on. I might get shot. Yeah, they leave it vague. We might have, might as, like, we might as well just might have died like as soon as we escaped. We thank you, the player. So, that's it for Amnesia the Bunker. A very low-key Amnesia, which I actually prefer. The Amnesia series has actually been a fairly... I mean, it hasn't done... I'm not sure if it's really done bad as far as sales. I'm sure it's very niche. 
but uh, I've always seen it as a bit of a troubled series because they've never really gone the the sauce of the first game right. They've given it to other devs or they've done different things with it. The closest game that ever came, I think, that they made was Soma. Soma had did the most amnesia-like feel. Not gameplay-wise, but just atmosphere, in my opinion. With Machine for Pigs being a different developer, it was very disappointing for a lot of people at the time, I remember. It's very... I think that was one of the real starts of the the walking, kind of not scary at all, uh, very walking, talking uh, horror game. I don't want to quite call it walking sim, but I guess you can kind of call it that. And then they did Amnesia Rebirth. I streamed the whole thing. I think the recordings probably are still there on my Twitch. And that was all right-ish. It still wasn't quite right. Like, it was still pretty off. It had some annoying mechanics gameplay-wise, and... Uh, it felt a little anticlimactic, and the atmosphere still wasn't quite right. Because if you go back to the original Amnesia, the if you look at the gameplay, it's you know it's primitive now. There's been so many games that come after it. It's, you know, all the way back in 2010. Now, I think that's when this channel started. Was early 2010, maybe late 2009, at least as far as branding, not necessarily on YouTube itself. But I think this one kind of captured. I like this one a lot better. This has been the best Amnesia since. Uh, well, I mean, since the original Amnesia. I'm not- if you- if you count Soma, it's the, the best thing they've made since Soma, but... This one, heavily inspired by the, uh, the Alien game, I'm assuming. It actually plays closer to that than the original Amnesia. We've got a little bit of the atmosphere, but it's still pretty low-key on... This is what I'm saying, it's kind of like Alien, where it's- it's- you've got the- get the tools to unlock the every area thing kind of going on. It's all hub-based. It's kind of like you took like one area of Resident Evil, you know, like how you're getting keys and little tools to unlock one area, and then eventually shift to like a whole new area and do the whole process over again. But you stretch that out to a full singular game, because theoretically you can you can cover most of the bunker early on and get lost and really extend out your game time. But I really liked how it was just low key, like just a guy in a bunker. There's a monster. It's just constantly coming after you. The production values are pretty good. The overall game feel, the tools, the guns that we're throwing was good. I feel like in some ways the atmosphere though was like so low key that you didn't really feel it. Like you didn't, f you still don't quite feel the full amnesia of atmosphere. So I was never really scared. Like this, this is a really not that scary of a horror game. I'm sure some YouTubers will react to it and be scared. But like, if I had to actually grade it, I would actually say, cause it's, like I said, it, some people might disagree, but it's obviously taking from Aliens with the invulnerable monster that comes out of vents and holes in the wall and responds to a noise instantly, and you have to like throw an explosive at it and make it run away thing. That's that's the xenomorph. Yeah, other horror games have done invulnerable enemies that come out of walls, like Nemesis and other various iconic things, but like that kind of gameplay loop, you're really looking at the uh, the alien game as the kind of the when they really started and popularized that. As far as how it feels here, anyway. But it's it's lacking kind of the, the detail and the flair that made the Xenomorph more fun. And the, the atmosphere of the levels. Because Alien, at least the initial part of it, was very... It was just perfect. Just perfect on atmosphere and, like, level design. And, like, the art and everything. Like, it had an extremely good visceral feel. Well, this one, you still have a little bit of that amnesia, like... I'm not sure if you would call it jankiness or not. Also, I'm trying to determine if the... If the generator mechanic is good, because it forces you to rush, which I can see why they'd want you to kind of move. They don't want you to just camp and wait for the monster out, because it doesn't really spawn very often. You have to make a really overt noise, but it also makes you rush. So you, if there was an atmosphere, you don't really take it in as much, because there's only so much gas in the game. But overall, I, I do think it's a good horror game. I, I think it's got a nice, clean setting and feel, which can be very rare in this genre. Especially even for the Amnesia devs in particular. But yeah, best Amnesia since the first. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Amnesia the Bunker. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.